Jennifer, don't! You're so rude to try to do that. Imagine if you fell in the whole thing and you didn't notice. I would be furious. So furious! Hi guys, today I have done a little tutorial on how to do winged liner for you. Winged liner for a lot of people is very difficult and hard to get even, hard to get right, hard to get the right shape, etc, etc. So I've tried to film this in a way that's easy to understand and that makes it look as simple as it can be. I've already got my eyebrows, my foundation, my contouring and my lips done. So basically I'm just going to show you how to do the eyes and the winged liner. So keep on watching if you want to see how to get my version of a winged liner. Thank you! First I'm going to do a light wash over my lid with this colour here. This colour is called Native and it's from the Motives Maven's palette. That's just going to reinstate my crease because I do have slightly hooded lids. So if you do have slightly hooded lids, make sure that you just give yourself a little wash of a taupe or light brown colour just into the crease just to reinstate that crease. So that has just reinstated my crease and now it actually looks like I have lids on my eyes. Next, I'm using this highlight shade here. Ooh, there's the camera. <laughs> Next, I'm using this high go away. Next, I'm using this highlight shade here from the Motives palette. This color is called Shell and I'm applying that in the inner corners of my eyes and also underneath my brow bone. Applying a little bit of a pencil black eyeliner onto the inner rims of my top lash line. And I'm also going to feather that through the lashes. It doesn't have to be neat because we are going to be going over the top of that with our liquid liner. Okay, now it's on to liquid liner time. I'm using this one here. This is my favorite liquid liner because it's not a gel liner. I was using gel liners but they tend to really dry up for me. This is the Ben Nye Cake Eyeliner in black. So basically what you do with this eyeliner is you mix it with water. So you get a little bit of water. I have some water in an empty spice jar here. And you basically just dip your brush into the water, then dip it into the eyeliner, and then it just becomes a liquid eyeliner. And the good thing about this is it's never going to dry out because it's made to dry out. So obviously once your water has evaporated, this little guy will dry back out and then when you want to use it again, you simply mix it with water again. So it's brilliant and it goes on so smoothly and it doesn't dry on your brush when you're trying to apply it like some gel liners do. So I love this. The brush that I'm going to be using is this one here from Bedellium Tools and it is their 762 brush and it is a very, very fine pointed eyeliner brush and it is angled. So that's going to make everything so much easier. But then you can also use just a regular fine pointed eyeliner brush if that's what you have and that's what you want to use. Basically, when you're doing a winged eyeliner, it's all about how you find it easiest to apply. So stick with what you know and what you find easiest. But if you don't have anything that you find easy, then give an angled eyeliner brush a try because they do make it easier. So I'm just going to dip that in the water and then I'm going to mix it around in my eyeliner pot until I have the right consistency. So I'm going to look down into my mirror and I'm going to start at the inner corner of my eye and basically draw a very thin line towards the outer corner of my eye. And that's what we're going to do to start off with. Okay, so as you might be able to see, I have made a boo-boo on my eyeliner. So basically, I've accidentally drawn it on top of my lid, which is absolutely not where I want it. So I actually stole this trick from Chloe Morello, who is an Australian beauty blogger, makeup artist extraordinaire. And what she said to do was get a clean angled brush and a little bit of makeup remover on a cotton pad and squeeze the makeup remover onto your brush and basically just use that as your eraser. So you just remove what you don't want to be there. Like Chloe said, it does work perfectly well as an eraser. So that way you can get that really precise eye line that you want. Make sure you're wiping off your excess eyeliner back onto the cotton pad as you remove it because if you don't, basically you're just going to smear it all over your lid which is the opposite of what you want. That's cleaned up, thank goodness. And I'm just going to repeat that process on the other eye but hopefully not making a mistake at the same time. So 
So I've got both my lines drawn above my lash line and what we're going to do now is wing it out. So basically what you want to do is follow your lower lash line up. So where your lower lash line goes up on a diagonal, that's where you're going to draw your wing. Then you're basically just going to follow that back in so that you match up with your top lash line. So as long as I'm keeping in the same line, I'm basically just going to thicken that outer wing out a little bit. Like that. And you'll notice that I am pulling my eyelids slightly across. I know it's not really the best thing to do because it's not great for your skin around the eye, obviously because that skin is quite fragile, but you really do need to do that. So if you don't hold that taut, you're not going to be able to get the right line. So just very, very gently, I don't mean pulling your eye right across. I mean very gently with the pad of your finger, hold your eye and just pull it taut. Now remember, if you make a mistake, don't worry because you can easily, easily clean it up. So I've made a few mistakes, I just basically want them to be a little bit thinner on the outer edge. So again, I'm taking my makeup remover on my makeup wipe and my clean and brush and I'm just going to neaten them up how I want them. That one I'm pretty happy with so I'm just going to leave that. This one I've now fixed up so that I'm happy with it as well but in the process of fixing it up I've kind of wiped away my foundation that I had there so I'm just going to reinstate my foundation I'm going to put a little bit of my original foundation on the back of my hand and take a clean angled flat concealer brush and I'm just going to trace and outline where I put the eyeliner just so everything's very neat. Next I'm going to apply some mascara. I'm using Chanel Le Volume but you can use any mascara that you want to. I'm going to apply that to my top and bottom lashes. So this is the finished look. On my lips, I should mention that I am wearing this lipstick here. It is from Motives Cosmetics and the color is, what is it? Pink Attack. It is so cute, such a candy pink color. So I'm wearing that on my lips with a little bit of gloss. This one is also from Motives actually and it's called Glam. Remember that when you're first starting off with your wings liner, it probably will take you a little while to get it right. But the more that you do the wings liner and the more practice you get, the easier it's gonna get and the quicker you're gonna get at it. And you probably won't even need to clean up any mistakes because you won't make any mistakes. So I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. Again, thank you for watching. If you want to, please subscribe, um, leave a comment if you have any questions. You can follow me on Instagram if you want to. My Instagram name is at Stephanie Lang Makeup and I'll have it in the description box down below for you in case you wanna to chat to me on there. And that's about all I have to say. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for your comments and the likes and dislikes. I hope you all have a great weekend. Bye. That will do. That will